In 1865, the Vicar of Swardston, a small village south of Norwich, was Frederick Cavell, and in December that year, his wife Louisa gave birth to their first child, a girl called Edith. In a very loving and sharing family with a rather mediocre income, all four children were brought up learning to give generously to the poor. Edith was a resourceful child and raised funds for her father's Sunday school by prompting locals to donate in return for her sketches of birds and flowers. At the age of 25, Edith left England and moved to Brussels, where she became a governess to a local family. She became fluent in French and also developed a passion for nursing. This was to become really important to her because in 1895, her father became ill and she returned to Norfolk to nurse him back to health. After her father's recovery, Edith began a period at Tooting Hospital, then at London Hospital from 1896. She had several spells at other hospitals before serving as assistant matron at Shoreditch Infirmary and a brief stint in Manchester in 1906. The following year, Edith returned to her beloved Brussels to assist in revolutionising the country's medical system. She became a valued member of the Red Cross, helping to train other nurses to work in hospitals, schools and kindergartens across the country. The Great War, starting in 1914, was a turning point for the nurse's life. When news that war had broken, Edith actually was in Norfolk visiting her widowed mother, but she soon returned to Brussels to help in her own way, encouraging the nurses to put care of the patients first, regardless of the soldier's nationality. However, Edith's efforts were to exceed expectations and the call of duty. An underground passage was built underneath the nurse's station, allowing Allied soldiers to escape via neutral Holland. Edith knew of the passage, but she refused to tell the other nurses for fear of putting their lives in jeopardy. By the summer of 1915, the German authorities had been notified by a Belgian collaborator, and the passage was discovered. Edith was arrested and detained. She confessed to being in the scheme, and she was charged with harbouring Allied soldiers. After a brief two-day trial, Edith was found guilty of treason and sentenced to death by firing squad the very next day. At 6am on the 12th of October 1915, she was executed. Her body was buried inside the grounds of the rifle range, but after the war it was exhumed and returned to Britain. After a memorial service at Westminster Abbey, Edith was brought back to Norwich and buried on the 19th of May 1919. So this is the final resting place of one of Norfolk's great heroines, Edith Cavell. She did not lead her life to be a martyr, and yet her actions during the First World War verify she was indeed a woman of great courage and great tenacity. <laughs>